everybody, what's going on YouTube? This your boy Cowboy right here, Premier Leather Crafters in the Dirty South. I mean, hey, look, I'm trying to finish up my little popsicle. I mean, it, it, it's, 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 it's starting to melt a little bit. I just got through feeding all the little kids in the neighborhood with pizza and popsicles. So, I mean, sometimes it's, it's just about giving back. So let me finish this little bit right quick. And then I'm going to get off into a very important informational video for you guys. So hang tight. I'll be right back. Let me drink the red. Well, I'm, that's almost gone. Okay. Now let's be professional. Sorry about that. But sometimes, you know, giving back, you know, little stuff like that can make a child's day. And uh, very soon I'm going to start doing leather classes and workshops. The kids are out. The children are out for the summer for school and on school break. So I'm going to start teaching them how to do little small stuff like cuffs and ID bracelets and things like that. But anyway, to this video, it won't be a long video, but it's going to be an important video because I'm getting a lot of emails and phone calls about uh, people, uh, other leather crafters, want to buy my pattern pack or, or my uh, templates for sandals. So, instead of doing that, this is going to the old uh, saying, give a man a fish, he eat for a day, but you teach a man how to fish, he'll eat forever. So, hey, this is why I do these videos. You guys know I do these for the beginners, the intermediate, and even some of you advanced crafters out there. Save your money on the front end to maximize your profits on the back end. Now, I'm sure you guys have already seen some videos where I talked about buying these little sandals right here, 97 cent at Wally World. You can get these. This is the only part of the flip flop that you should be concerned with. It's not about buying them, not about not about wearing them, but 97 cent is a small investment compared to a $40 pattern pack or a template pack that I or other crafters like myself will be selling you guys. You guys can take that $40 and buy every size flip-flop and sandal all the way down to a little kid, to a little toddler, all the way up to a size 13. They have them. 97 cents. So save that 40 bucks, watch this video, and then you guys can make your own templates and patterns just like me. And I'm going to get off into showing you guys a little bit how you can, how I alter these patterns a little bit because these particular flip flops are made for the toe thongs. Now, this is the part of the flip flop that is of the least concern to you guys. That's why you see one is missing because I pull it off. I just need the sole of it to give me a design. Now I use these a lot with my female clients or customers because a woman's foot is pretty narrow. Now, well, cowboy, what do you do about your male clients? Let me show you what I do about my male clients because the male sandals are not 99 cents. They're going to start around about nine and nine dollars and up. But you might get a few little weird looks. But if it doesn't bother you, then this is what I do. I take me a piece of paper and a pen into Wally World and I'll sit there and drop that male shoe, male sandal, male flip-flop on that paper, trace it out. If you, I mean, hey, you're not stealing, ladies and gentlemen. You're just tracing out the pattern. It beats buying all of those male different, those different size male flip-flops at $9 a piece because uh, then just to trace it out. Now, once I get it traced, and if you guys can see here, I just traced two sizes. This is a size 13 that's going to a, a, new, a new client of mine in Australia. And then I had another client that hit me out of Houston, and they were a size 7. So I, uh, I just laid that size 7 in right in the inside of that, traced two patterns real quick in Walmart, took about 30 seconds in and out. Came home, cellophane taped it. You guys can see the cellophane tape because I wanted to preserve it. And that got me by until I went to wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Until I went to my second favorite store, Dollar Tree, where you can get two poster boards for a dollar. Then took this pattern, 
Laid, actually, uh, I've already used one of the boards, um, but I took this pattern, laid it on top of my poster board, which I will show you guys here about that in a second. So now, and traced it onto my pattern. And then, uh, just like always, uh, so you guys know that I practice what I preach, took my cellophane packaging tape and taped up my poster board. Now, here's the thing. You, your creativity, you have no limit in being creative with your sandal design. It's cheap, economical, and efficient, and it gets the job done to do all of your experimentation on the poster board that only costs you 50 cent than to put that on a piece of leather and sacrifice a leather piece of leather that you really can be making money off of. So I took that, traced it out, went ahead and cut my slots out. Now you guys are seeing a new design. This is a new unisex sandal and I'll show you the completed version in a second. But this is a new unisex sandal that I'm releasing on the crystal line, uh, to the 2019 crystal line. Uh, so and these are going for the males because I've been having a lot of men that's been contacting me and saying, hey, look, you know, I want a male shoe. You know, I, uh, men wear sandals too. True. But at that time, the women or the females were the only one. They were my number one customers and buyers. So now I come out with a male sandal that will be introduced uh, this year on the 2019 line. Now. I did that, and but I wanted to do something different because a lot of customers don't want, and I'm putting this together so I want you guys to see just how this works. A lot of customers were starting to hit me up and say, hey, look, I don't like the flip-flop thing, the thing in between my toes. You know, do you have a something else? So, again, went back to my 50-cent poster board, sat down with my a trusted ruler and my pencil and came up with this little jewel here. Now this is where, now uh, I'm pretty sure you guys can see that, this is where your big toe will go through. And it's covering the foot just a little bit more than your traditional, the thongs on a traditional flip-flop. Unlike uh, this right here. Giving a little bit more foot coverage so men feel a little bit better because it's a little bit more secured and it don't flop around like a regular flip-flop do. You know, all the men that I know, even myself included, don't like to hear that flap on your heel when you walk. You know, that's just not manly. You know, especially being down south, you know, that's just, you know, that's a no-no. Especially in the urban community, a man don't want to hear that flop flop on your feet. So just to make the coverage a little bit wider, give it a little bit more uh, secured feel. And I do all of my tempting, uh, my, my uh, designing in, on the poster board. So I do all of my cutting, pretty much get it sized up, the, pretty much how it's going to look. And now I have a design. You too can do the same thing. You don't have to send me for it. Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing better than making money, but there are some things, especially in when you uh, in business, that's more important than making money because I know now that the money will come if you build the brand and also become a KPI. Now, so if you guys, and I'm gonna interject this real quick. If you guys haven't read the book KPI, Key Person of Influence by Kevin Harrington, you guys need to get that book. Get that book. That book is going to tell you how the money will become rolling in if you become a key person, not just in the leather field, but in any field or any industry out there. That book will tell you a whole lot. Now, let's get back to this. But uh, again, do all of my designing on here, get it pretty much prepped and get it pretty much sized up, but very cost efficient to do the work here than to do it on uh, actual level. I'm going to show you guys another design because now this now this design here is based just it, it is Arabic or Middle Eastern inspired because a lot of people in the Middle East, um, not just Saudi Arabia or the Arab countries, even also in Israel, they do wear a more 
uh, covered foot as far as the men are concerned. So that's why I just say Middle East. It covers that whole entire region. Now, uh, but I also have some clients that want to have a more Roman style sandal. Now, I'm going to drop this in real quick because Roman style sandals, you'll see these a lot. They have more straps. And then you also see the uh, big toe uh, retainer right here. But you can do all of your modification and designing with poster paper. And it gives you an idea, a better idea of how the shoe will actually look. And it's better to do all of your modification design and just take regular masking tape or regular painter's tape and you can hold it. Now, I had this one sized to my daughter's foot, which this is actually uh, the size, same size as the customer uh, wanted. So it was very easy for me to get the straps a right, a comfortable fit. So this was pretty much ready to go. Now, and use your people in your family, in your households. If they have the size foot that your client is, 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 is uh, the client is same size as your client, use their foot. Pretty much everybody's on a D width across the board, general. Even if you're going to Walmart and buying these, these are all D width. D width is the standard in shoe making. Every, pretty much everywhere, unless a customer specifically has a wide foot, which is an E, double E, triple E, and sometimes if they've wider than that, then, uh, you know, they really need your services on a custom bill. But pretty much D widths are the standard. So you can size, you can get a lot of work done. Hey, I don't want to keep this long, but um, here it is, the finished product. Well, it was starting to be finished, but this wouldn't came to fruition if it hadn't have been for the poster paper. This is where your creativity is, boys and girls. Your creativity is all here in the prep time, in the prep work. You can do a lot of designing, a lot of creativity, a lot of crafting. You can even change a lot of other samples and have your own thing that's going and once you get it, uh, once you get an idea of how it's going to look here, you can pretty much put it together here and it's going to work. This is what keeps it all original. This is what keeps it full custom. And this is what will bring you in those clients. Now, thank you guys for chilling with me these 12 minutes and 48 seconds. I said I wasn't going to keep you long, but I wanted to get a lot of stuff in in a short amount of time, especially I wanted to drop that book about being a KPI because that book is so influential. If you're into the, uh, if you're in this for the money, which we're all in business for the money, but money should not be the goal. I'm going to say that again real quick, then I'm going to let you go. Don't be into this business for the money. Be, be, get into any business. Get into business to become the key person of influence. Once you become that key person in whatever field, not just leather crafters, but once you get a name, especially when you your name is associated with, hey, if you, um, I want to be that guy to where you say, uh, hey, uh, I got an idea. I want to know if this will work. Let me hit up the leather cowboy and see if he can tell me. That's when you become a key person. When that person, when a person comes to your mind that when you have an idea or a brainstorm or you got a question or you need a question answered, whoever that person is that comes to your mind that you think it has an answer, that's the key person of influence. Once you establish that, then the money will always follow that. Hey! Let me get out of here and get back to work because I got some more samples and stuff that I got to do. But hey, you guys, look, if you want the patterns, if you want the templates, I don't mind selling them to you. Uh, you have three different templates and my pattern packs and my template packs, and they're $40. If you want to hit them, hit me up on the email, hit me up on social media. Uh, Premier Leather Crafters at Yahoo is the email, or you can hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, under the same name. On the Instagram is Cowboy PLC, K A W B O I, or you can hit me up right here on YouTube. Hey, Cowboy, I like that Roman style sandal. Hey, Cowboy, I like that Middle East uh, sandal. And there's going to be host of us. 
host of others that I have in there. And I'm working on getting the PDF file uh, worked out now. So if you want that, but you'll get three different pattern packs that I have all of your adult sizes from a six to a size 13 in that PDF. And then all you have to do is just ask for what uh, style sandal that you want. I don't mind selling it to you. It'll save you a little bit of time, but you guys can do the same thing that I do. Walmart, 97 cent, Dollar Tree, Two poster boards for a dollar and just create. Hey, thank you guys. I appreciate you for your support. Always come back and follow me. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the little bell so every time I do these little videos, it'll send you a notification and you can tune in and learn something new. Or hopefully learn something new or hey, give you a little bit more insight about this craft that we all love. I'm going to sign off. Get out of here. Thank you guys for chilling. See you guys on the other side. Peace.